Hey guys, and welcome back to another card discussion episode. So today we are be we are be we are going to be looking at Bujingi Shinyo. I believe that's how that's pronounced. You know, it's a new card ultra rare TCG exclusive that has been revealed to be in Primal Origins, and uh, we're going to be looking at this card. So uh, this card is a Beast Light Effect, level four, fifteen hundred attack, one thousand defense. And its effect is, during either player's damage step, if a Beast Warrior type Bujin monster you control battles an opponent's monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. That monster you control gains attack equal to the current attack of the opponent's monster it is battling until the end of the damage step. If it does, all battle damage your opponent takes from this battle is halved. You can only use the effect of Bujingi Shinyo once per turn. Alright, so, uh, just looking at it straight up, it looks like Bujins get another Honest. So, now, you know, Bujins would actually play this card like that. You know, they would have, you know, Honest, three Krins, and three Shinyos. But, it's Honest-esque, but it's not Honest. It's definitely not Honest. And in my opinion, it's not even as good as Crane. Because... There's one major factor, the difference between this card and Crane. Crane has the element of surprise. You know, you, you may see them go like, okay, end phase Yamato, add Crane, drop something else. But you don't know how many Cranes they got. You know that there's at least one. You know, this card on their hand, they put it to the graveyard. You can clearly see it in your opponent's graveyard. You know how to, you know, deal with that situation. And another thing is, is that... And the things that you want to send to the graveyard in Bujins, this may not be one of the things you want to send, you know? You want to add something, you want to send something. Generally, you want to add Crane and drop Hair or Turtle or Quillen or some people play Centipede in your hand. This card, on the other hand, you know, it's another one of those cards that you would just, you know, in Fancy Motto, add, drop, if you don't have a Crane. So, essentially, it's like a graveyard Crane. So, you know... And true dueling with Bujins, you don't have anybody else to discard, so you know it'd be kind of dumb to just go add Crane and then drop Crane because you have no one else. You can always drop this guy, and you know it would prove to pretty much be uh, the same result. So it's an interesting card. I really don't see it being played in like threes, maybe maybe tech one, maybe, but uh, overall, it's not the most broken, scary shit that everybody and their mother is hyping up. So you know. Uh, it's, I'm not saying it's a terrible card. I uh, definitely like how Konami is just it just battles one monster and it only gets the attack until the end of the damage step because oh thank God they didn't make it like Honest where you know it keeps the attack until you know you know the end of the turn like Honest does because you know hell yeah they would just go into freaking Sasana Noel well, fucking send this guy attack the strongest monster banish him and just go blah 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 blah, blah and hit all the damn monsters, so no, 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 one attack, so at least Konami didn't drop the ball on that, but pretty much, it's just a graveyard crane, just think of it like that, graveyard crane, crane, you know, doubles your original attack, this guy, you just gain the attack like an honest, but essentially, they're doing the same job, it's just, you know, making your Bujin monster stronger. So, like I said, I don't really don't see a lot of people playing this card. Maybe maybe Tech 1, maybe not at all. You know, there's some co cards that, you know, they don't play at all. I mean, I think Centipede's a decent card, you know, that you should be at least running at 1. But, you know, they say don't run it at all. And, you know, uh, it's really hard to tell the competitive scene with Bujins because, you know, Konami keeps on making these cards for the deck and they want the deck to do really well, and it is. But, you know, sometimes card Konami just makes these cards that are just a complete flop and, you know, then no one runs it. So... You know, we just gotta see what the Bujin community wants to do with this card when you see a deck that tops with at least one of these in the deck, and then you know that's gonna be the new form because, you know, people, they like to net dick, you know, they're riding the dick so hard, so, you know, instead of, you know, thinking up their own plays and, you know, going with the flow, they just go with the flow of, you know, what everybody else is doing, the generic uh, Bujin build, you know, three Yamatos, two Mikazuchis, three Crane, two Turtle, two Hair, and one Quillen, with a little bit of, you know, Thunder King Ryo and an Honest, you know, so we'll find out if, you know, this Shinyu guy will be uh, added into the bunch, but like I said, it's not. I haven't seen people saying that, you know, it's seven Honest now, but it's not. It's not, you know. Being able to drop that crane from your hand, being able to play that honest from your hand is way, way, way different than just, you know, having this in your graveyard. 
So, uh, go ahead and tell me what you guys think of this card. Like I said, it's okay. You know, you at least get to, you know, a, a destroy the attacking monster as if someone's going to be attacking you anyway when you're running Bujins, you know. Just like how you can handle Crane, you pretty much you can handle uh, Shinyo. Uh, the damage they take is halved, but uh, like I said, it's pretty much the same end result. Just don't attack Bujins. And just like how you can protect your monster from an opponent's attack, by, you know, blocking this and then they take the damage instead and then their monster is short and you can pretty much do the same thing by either dropping crane or, you know, blocking with hair. So, uh, overall, this guy does seem obsolete and it's not like it's the first one. I mean, they do have, I think it's Bujingi Raven who blocks an attack and then they take half the attack of their monster's attack. So, pretty much, uh, if you want to think in a set sense, they kind of got like 10 on us, but, yeah, I'm not sure if anybody's going to be running this card. So, tell me what you guys think. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review Discussion Series. I don't know what the hell to call it. Just, I don't know. I think it's just called Card Review. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all support. And I will see you guys Thursday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.